Hello everyone, I'm João Marcos from That's Brilliant and in this video we're going to, to talk about a relation between the slopes of per perpendicular lines. So we study this when we study coordinate geometry and we see there is a, a relation between the slopes of perpendicular lines and in this video we're going to, to prove the relation but before we start to prove let's see, let's remember what the, the, the relation is. So here we have two perpendicular, li perpendicular lines, S and R. And let's say that, for example, uh, the equation of line S is y equals ax plus b. And that the equation of line R is y equals cx plus d. And the relation says, uh, uh, before we see the relation, just remember, the slope of line S is a, is a number that multiplies x. And the slope of line R is C. So the relation between the slopes or the, the relation between A and C is that A equals negative 1 over C. Or the same thing, C equals negative 1 over A. The, the, the relation says the slopes of perpendicular, of perpendicular lines are uh, opposite reciprocals. Which means you flip over the number and you flip the sign. So, for example, imagine one of the slopes is 2. The slope of a line perpendicular to the first one is going to be negative 1 over 2. They must be opposite reciprocals. It must flip over the number, which means raising to negative 1, and then multiply it by negative 1, uh, which just means uh, flipping the sign. So, let's prove this. So, uh, let's look at this triangle here. Let's call this angle here of theta and this angle of beta. beta. And which are, uh, what are these this angles? So, theta is the angle of inclination of line R and beta is the angle of inclination of line S. And uh, let, let's remember uh, two of the ex exterior angle theorem, which says that B equals theta plus 90 degrees. So what is the exterior angle uh, theorem? It says that if you have a triangle, uh, the, if you think of one exterior angle, B uh, but beta is an exterior angle here. So, uh, an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non adjacent interior angles. So, the two interior angles non adjacent to B, to, to beta, are theta and 90. So, you can say that beta is equal to theta plus 90 degrees. You can prove this very easily. So, uh, ju just to show you, call this angle, of, for example, of phi. And uh, just, uh, you have that phi plus beta must be equal to 180 degrees. And the, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle must be uh, 182. So you must have theta plus phi, and this pen is like not working anymore. So let's change colors. Uh, phi plus theta plus 90 degrees must also be equal to 180 degrees because they are just the sum of the interior angles of a triangle. So just if this is equal to 180, and this is equal to 180, these two must be equal one to, one to another. So, you must have that phi plus theta plus 90 degrees must be equal to phi plus beta. If you subtract phi from both sides, you can see that theta plus 90 degrees equals beta, which is we, we had already written, but just, just to show you with more detail. So, now that we have this, we can go on with our proof. So if this angle is exactly the same of this angle here, theta plus 90 degrees, you can also say that 
the tangent of beta is equal and add, let me write tangent if tangent uh, if this angle is equal to this angle theta plus 90 degrees tangent of beta must be equal to tangent of theta plus 90 degrees and we study some equations uh, in, in trigonometry uh, to calculate the, the, the sine and cosine and tangent of uh, some of angles or some of arcs. And uh, if we use that equation here, it wouldn't work. The, the equation for the tangent. Why it wouldn't work? Well, one of those equations says that, uh, I'm going to write it here, it says that the tangent, actually, let me put it here, the tangent of A plus B, the tangent of A plus B is equal to tangent of A, oh my god, the tangent of A plus tangent of B over 1 minus tangent of A times tangent of B. This is one of those equations I, I told you about that relates that that you can use to calculate the tangent of a sum of angles but here that equation wouldn't work why because one of the angles is 90 and the tangent of 90 degrees doesn't exist because the tangent of an angle uh, the tangent of an angle is the sine of that angle uh, divided by the cosine of that angle but the cosine of 90 degrees is zero so the tangent of 90 would be a division by zero which can is which can't exist. So the tangent of 90 degrees doesn't exist. So what you can do here is use the relation I have just uh, said, that the tangent of an angle is equal to the sine of that angle divided by the cosine of that angle. And now you can use other equations uh, for to calculate the sine and cosine of uh, sum of angles, and you were not going to have to use a, uh, a tangent that, that doesn't exist. So here we, we kind of escape the problem of uh, getting into a, a tangent that doesn't exist. So uh, the, this is this is one of the equations I told you about. You can calculate a tangent of a sum of angles. You can also calculate the sine and cosine of a sum of angles. So uh, I'm not going to prove those equations in this video. If you don't know them, I, I recommend you you look for them uh, somewhere, not to just have them because I said, but uh, look, re, do a little bit of research to, to see where these equations came from if you don't know them. But I, I can prove them in this video. So a tangent of B is equal to, when you have sine of theta plus 90, you can do the following. Let's do it in this corner. Sine of theta. Theta. My letter is horrible. Sine of theta plus 90. This is equal to sine of theta plus sine of 90 plus sine of 90 plus sine of theta. Cosine of 90 is 0. I have just concluded that. Sine of 90 is 1. So this here is 0. This here is 1. So the sine of theta plus 90 degrees is the cosine of theta. So this here we have cosine of theta. And now let's calculate the cosine of theta plus 90. So changing colors. The cosine of theta plus 90 degrees is equal to cosine of theta cosine of 90 degrees minus sine of theta sine of 90 degrees. Cosine of 90 is 0. Sine of 90 is 1. So the cosine of theta plus 90 is negative sine of theta. So negative sine of theta. And this is exactly the 
negative with tangent of theta. Because tangent is sine over cosine. Cotangent is cosine over sine. Or you can write this uh, this way. This is equal to 1 over the tangent. 1 over the tangent of theta. And remember uh, what we have just concluded. Tangent of beta equals negative 1 over tangent of, of theta. But let's remember, what is tangent of beta and what's tangent, tangent of theta? Theta is the angle of inclination of line R, and beta is the angle of inclination of line S. If you calculate the tangent of the angle of inclination, you are just calculating the slope of a line. So, tangent of beta is the slope of line S, which is just A. So, here, A equals to 1 negative 1 over. And tangent of theta is a slope of line R, which is just C. So A equals negative 1 over C. And we have just concluded that. Uh, one, of, one way of thinking about the slope of line is the variation in, uh, is, is the vertical change over the horizontal change. But if you think about it, you're just calculating uh, the, the tangent of the angle of inclination. Because the tangent, for example, of this, of this angle here, you could, you could calculate the opposite side, would be this here, the vertical change, over the, the adjacent side, which, you, which would be just the horizontal change. So they are just different, way, different ways of thinking about the same thing. If you say that slope, the slope of a line is the vertical change of, over the horizontal change, we are saying the same thing that the slope of a line is the, trend, is the tangent of the angle of inclination. So here we have just proved that the slopes of per perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. So this is it. If you have any questions, please uh, write them down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I see you in the next video.